Hey, it's me, it's Paul. So today is day eight for me of the 10 day detox. Uh, this will be the eighth video that you have uh, received from me. So today, day eight is about design. And here's what design is about. Strategies for healthy life design. Organize your kitchen for healthy meal prep. You've already done a cupboard and fridge makeover for your 10 day detox. That's a great start. Now take a look around the rest of your kitchen. What would make it easy for you to continue to prepare? Eat healthy meals forever. Perhaps you could clean out your drawers and cabinets so they're free of clutter. Make sure that you have or buy all the cooking utensils you could need to succeed. Arrange your pots and pans for easier access. Get smaller plates. <laughs> Uh, refresh your supplies of spices, condiments, oils, vinegars, and sauces. Find new recipes. So today, just extraordinary uh, how good day eight has been feeling for me. Um, woke up, did my measurements. My weight is 215, so I'm really staying steady. It went down 214, now it's 215. Um, for me, this is not a weight loss thing, and of course my measurements are down another half inch, it looks like, or a quarter inch on some. It's hard to tell, right? When you're measuring, you can like squeeze a little bit. But um, today, it's just, just energy and uh, clarity and focus and fun. And this is, you know, the shake kept me full with that fiber for hours and hours. Um, and I, I, I had like lots of veggies today. I went to a birthday party this evening and I was a little concerned, but they had so many raw veggies and so much fresh food and natural like hummus and things I could dip, like like a couple dips I could dip the veggies in. And, and um, it was just incredible. It was an incredible, and it was so nice to, to not have any caffeine or any wine or anything just to be super present and I found it was easy to listen easy to be in conversation with people I just felt vibrant and connected and so day eight was super great this is something I could continue with this this way of eating and I like I said before I do eat good but I did have wheat and dairy and sugar and meat occasionally um, but just to be f and caffeine uh, and alcohol to be fully free from those things um, is a profound beautiful energetic uh, clear gift so today's designing your life really so how, how can you remove clutter from your bedroom and strategies and structures and stock your kitchen and make your bedroom a sanctuary uh, understanding your trouble zones and then go it's got a whole way of, of creating and designing your life so this can be something sustainable not necessarily the strict but a version of it that would work for you <sighs> take five breaths make sure you keep doing that every single day um, um, assemble your emergency life pack how cool is this if you had a bee sting allergy or peanut allergy, you would never leave your house without an EpiPen. Likewise, if you have a body, then you need an emergency life pack that you're, so you're never stranded without healthy options. It makes sense that if you want to survive our toxic nutritional food environment, you need to make and carry your own survival kit. See page uh, detox, uh, 10 daydetoxcom resource for specific brands and where to find the best items for your emergency life pack. Here's what's in mine. Wild canned salmon. These are the non-perishables. Canned sardines, salmon jerky, natural jerky, or grass pasture-raised beef, beef with no nitrates, almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, nut butters, coconut butter, Mary's Gone crackers, gluten-free flaxseed crackers, a jar of artichoke hearts, whole food protein bar, on sweetened dried wild bla wild bl blueberries and some water and then some perishable or hard-boiled eggs hummus uh, carrot and celery sticks apple or pear and so he has this emergency food in the car or in office drawers or a travel bag have fun and create your own emergency life pack um, so yeah and then day day nine tomorrow is um, 
notice. So we'll be noticing some changes in your body. And then there's the questions, of course, that you go through and ask yourself. The emotional questions, like what emotions am I feeling today? Who am I really without shoving down my emotions with food constantly? And for each of you, that'll mean something different. What's your personality when you're not covering up emotions by disconnecting with food? So day eight, or sorry, day eight is design. Um, this is on page 180, and there's some fun uh, recipes at the back of the book, some core ones and some uh, delicious. So easy, you guys. I don't know how it's going for you, uh, but this day eight, breezy, easy breezy and I feel connected and this one's a good day about designing your life and design setting up your home in a way that can really pull you forward your environment to pull you to succeed not to be an environment that's yanking you backwards so getting rid of clutter making everything feel sexy like a sanctuary rather than a yard sale <sighs> so good all right, we'll see you tomorrow for day nine. This thing's just moving on so quickly. I hope you're having fun too. All right, see you tomorrow.